um, I mean, the stock's up a lot this morning. Obviously, the street is, is impressed. In terms of that, that adjusted profit number, you surprise everyone's expectations. Is that uh, level of profit something that we can see throughout the rest of this year? You, I know you said you want to be cash flow positive, profitable in full year 2018, but is that specific level something we should expect or higher or lower? Well, um, remember I said, um, you know, the, the consensus right now out there, um, we feel very comfortable and our model just kind of matches that. Mm -hmm. So, and I think the consensus is like uh, five cents, six cents for the year, profitability, um, cash flow positive, and so, then I, that, you should go with that. Right, right, okay. I mean, we were talking about this, you know, in, in past quarters about how the market still is not valuing BlackBerry as a software company, mm -hmm. and it looks like you're getting closer to that, but you're still, in terms of your multiple, below some of your, the other companies, you know, that are pure software plays. Do you think that the, the market will kind of eventually come around and start valuing a little bit higher? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think you know, we do need to execute. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we make the pivot ch the change, it was not easy, as you right. know, and you've been following our story for a long time. Uh, you know, you can't, it's not a straight line up, right. but we have made the progress that we need to make, and I think the fundamentals are very strong. Right. Um, I think the uh, cybersecurity area is a good area for us, mm -hmm. as you know, that is our heritage. I think the auto and transportation area that, that kind of now intersect with that area right. is a huge area for us. I mean, r literally, when I look through the market, we're the only company that is of any size that could claim to play in that in that space. So, right. I, I think it's it, it, it very very interesting for us, yeah. and and we need to execute it. I, I, if we could repeat doing well, um, yeah. a, you know, a few quarters out, I think the investor will, will wake up. Well, you mentioned autos, and I mean, obviously, you know, even yesterday we had some some news. I think. It was a move that had already but happened, but the announcement that 400 BlackBerry employees were moving to Ford and are now Ford employees helping them with that. Um, I mean, but you have a, a whole partnership with Ford that goes beyond that. That includes you know, current BlackBerry employees, QNX, all these different things. And you mentioned that you could see more of those deeper partnerships with other automakers. So you know, instead of just selling them your products, maybe working on things together. What do you mean by that? I mean, could we see uh, something with GM or one of the European <laughs> automakers? Yeah. Well. I, I don't want to really go into the names, so I'm working on, you know, with our team, we're working on a number of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the, yes, we, we like to be upfront with them in designing the right. next generation car. You know, I, I, we, we like to go beyond just, a, you know, I buy something from you and then right. I use it. Um, so we, we like to do that. And, and, but it's really resonate with a lot of, I mean, I was in Europe last week. Um, can't tell you who I visited, but okay. I was in Europe. I, 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 and and, and uh, it was, uh, it was, it was good. Uh, I, I think people could understand where BlackBerry added value mm -hmm. there. Right. The um, deadline for H-1B visas is, is coming up very quickly, and I know this is an issue that you know, you're personally passionate about. It's obviously immigration is important for, for your business, for the mm -hmm. larger tech community in the mm -hmm. U.S. Um, you know, we're sort of not exactly sure what is going to happen with the H-1B program, but um, I mean, what is sort of your thinking on that right now, now that we've had a few months since the election? Do you think we will see some serious disruption to that specific issue? And, and I think I think the wording from the administrations and public mm -hmm. was the, it was right. I um, think um, it, it unfortunately got tied up with the whole bigger issue of immigration. Uh, um, but you know, countries in the United States needs more talents in in, in engineering and science, and medicine, you know, in many areas. So the H one B visa. It's a very critical component to kind of continue to add talent to the pool, right. Right, to the pool. And you know, now we are very lucky because we actually have good operation in the United States. We also have great operation in Canada, right. and Canada does have a lot of you know great talent. In addition to that, um, Canada immigration policies have been set and hasn't really changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've been able to attract. Uh, foreigners to come to to, right. to our Canadian operation, and we're big in Ottawa and Mississauga and Toronto and Waterloo, and, and so, right. so we have a way. We have a little bit of a way out. You're or, diversified or, for yeah, your business. So yeah. yeah, and then we're we're also in European countries and uh, in India, and so the way well, I think we're reasonably set in this. Having said that, it's still an important element. Mm -hmm for us um, and for a lot of the tech company right. in the United States. I mean, are, do you think that there's been anything, you know, recently that says, okay, maybe it's not going to be as, as big of a change or we're not going to see as much disruption as maybe we, we felt at, in the days after the election or even during the campaign? Yeah, I, I do believe that, you know, when the, when the both sides, whoever the both sides are, mm -hmm. sit, sit down and, and hammer out a deal, right. 
uh, it will not be as quote unquote as robust as it was first okay. stated. Um, but I, I I do expect to move the needle some. Right. Okay. Interesting. Um, the last thing I wanted to ask you about is, you know, obviously there have always been acquisition rumors flying around about about BlackBerry throughout your time here and throughout the turnaround. But you know, you're really in a position now where you can say, look, you have definitely stabilized the business. You have growth. I mean, are you getting more inbounds? Are you getting more people suddenly being interested in in a potentially acquiring BlackBerry? Uh, well, I shouldn't be commenting that in public, but people are always interested in the assets mm -hmm. that we have. My job is to a get the get the great return for the shareholders, mm -hmm. one way or the other. Uh, but my, right now, I'm focusing on operation, and, and you know we're just starting to see some growth. Mm -hmm. We like to continue that, um, and uh, uh, we have many areas that we still need to work on. Um, you know the the auto wear area, the radar, which is our SS trackers mm -hmm. area, those are great promises, and our enterprise software. So I, I think I have a lot of work to do, to, but to worry about you know whether there's any more inbound or somebody like that. Um, the job really is to get ourselves to a, a market value that makes sense. Okay. And then if there is a you know a, a, another event beyond that, you know I'm I'm open mm -hmm. as a as as a public company officer, but that's not my focus.